Well, this little lady is Droopy's Tess, and it's because of her that today I've come all the way up north to Wakefield to meet trainer Phil Barlow, who uh, will be a familiar name to some of you, perhaps not such a familiar face, but we're going to learn more uh, about your setup here now. I'm really impressed, actually. You've been here nine years. Tell us how all this happened. Um, come across, well, my grandma and granddad own all this field and house, and I built this, this house eight years ago, and... Um, it's just gone from there. This was a little paddock out for some pups and had a little shed just in corner uh, and just built on and built on and built on. And it's just gone from strength to strength and bigger and bigger. Obviously, you got the contract at Sheffield. That's yeah. when you built more kennel blocks. Yeah. And how many dogs have you got here now? We've 33. 33 so. dogs. And obviously, nice little paddocks, but I always like to see a big, nice, yeah, grassy it's like, it's field nice for them. It's nice to have a field for them to just stretch their legs in. And we don't gallop them, gallop them and we just let them free run and they go have a sniff dart field and they'll just do their own thing which I like and um, like I say so they seem very content as well and that's it yeah. you don't gallop them but you do have use of a gallop I'm not sure yeah, if we can see we, it just running down the side of the field dragon and, and, and pups and um, when we're schooling pups we have got a trap uh, so we do school pups up there behind dragon um, and we do, like I say, if we need to just get a little bit extra work into them, we do go downfield and uh, play with Teddy and get them to do a bit of extra work. But it's nice to have. How is life at Sheffield? It's one of the few tracks, actually, it still races Friday and Saturday nights. How important do you think that is? Oh, it's great. I mean, we, it's a good atmosphere down there, great running track. We've just had new track laid down there, so hopefully it's going strength for strength. That said, you do enjoy your travels, don't you, when you've got one good enough? Yeah, yeah, and it's not often we do get one good enough, but it's nice to, like I say, go on my travels and run against these good dogs, run against, run against these top-class trainers and say hello to them because you, you make friends and, like I say, you get to know each and other, every one of a trainer and, um, it, like I say, it's nice to say hello now and again and be involved against them, so... Absolutely, and there's going to be much more from this kennel uh, coming up. We're going to meet uh, Droopy's Tess and find out much more about her. Uh, also, an old familiar name that you might remember, and one or two to follow as well, so uh, stay tuned.